I got a package. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF merchandise showcase video. It's been a while since we've had one of these. I want to say the last one we did was when I got the FNAF clue, but now we have the FNAF security breach action figures. I've been waiting a long time for these. Ever since that they were announced, I knew I was gonna make a video on them. I had to. And so, I bought all of them. I have every single one that they've released. Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Montgomery the Alligator, Roxanne the Wolf, and Vanny. They are all in here. I have all five. I'm so excited. By the way, again, I have all of them. I'm gonna be showing their action figures. I'm gonna be showing their designs. So if you don't want to see their designs, wait until we get a trailer. Whenever we get a trailer. That is your spoiler right now. These were originally supposed to ship out on the 15th, but then they shipped early on the 12th, and then today is the 17th. They are finally here. So honestly, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's open this sucker up. Let's all smash the like at the same time. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. So smash the subscribe button because later this month, Johnny Blocks is reviewing the Trends Security Breach Poster and Funko Security Breach Mystery Minis. And because the Vanny action figure is in here, what better thing to open it with than a knife? <laughs> Ooh, I see him. I see him. Look. Right there. Look, they even gave me a little bonus. <laughs> oh, the... The green screen. I didn't realize that was on. Hold up. Oh, wow. Oh, here they are. All right, I'm gonna get all them out. I gotta get a better position to show you guys because the lighting, there's a window right there and the light is shining on it, so you can't really see it all that well. Oh, if I do this, you can see them. So again, as a brief summary, we have Glamrock Freddy right here. After him, we have, oh, wow. Roxanne the Wolf, okay. This one, Vanny. Vanny's doing like, like a pog. Vanny pog, that's gonna be a channel member emote sometime soon. <gasps> Glamrock Chica looks kinda cool too. And finally, we have the man himself, Montgomery the Alligator. All right, so before we take a look at the figures themselves, I want to appreciate this box. Oh, this is so much better. Okay, so this is Glamrock Freddy. This is his box. And then this is the back of the box. Unfortunately, there was no Build-A-Figure. Funko, I am very, very upset, and I know a lot of people are too, that there was no Glitch Trap Build-A-Figure. I think we can all agree that if there was going to be a Build-A-Fig, it would have been Glitch Trap. So yeah, no Build-A-Fig, but we do have Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Roxanne, Montgomery, and Vanny on the back, as well as all the technical copyright stuff that no one cares about. Got FNAF Security Breach up there. It also has it right up there with Funko. Overall, I really do like the boxes. Um, if I were to request anything, probably a bit of neon to fit with the mall theme, but then again, I feel like that would probably break the, um, the red theme that they're going with for this box. Camera, can you focus? Here's Montgomery's box right here. I won't show the back because it is I mean, it's just the same thing, but this is Montgomery's front. As you can see, it comes with his bass guitar. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not an instrument guy. Glamrock Chica right here. She also has a guitar that comes with her. Here's Vanny with her knife. Again, it looks like Vanny's doing the pog emote. I'm just saying, like, if we, if you look at it this way, Vanny pog boys, can I get a Vanny pog in the comments? And then finally, we have Roxanne, which comes with her Piano, guitar thing, I, again, so many people tell me what it's called, but I, I can't bother to remember. Now, I'm sure a lot of collectors are gonna get really mad at me, but because this is a showcase video, I gotta rip these things out of their box. This, this pains me. I've only gotten this far and I'm already upset. Honestly, I do like their boxes. If I weren't doing a showcase, I probably would have kept them in the box. And here he is, Glam Rock Freddy. I will say, I will say, I... I think I know what they did with this with this guy. I swear, I recognize the smell. I swear they have used some sort of like spray-on gloss to make him look as shiny and as clean as he does because I know this looks weird, but I, I swear I recognize that smell. Okay, so here is Glamrock Freddy. I will say I was not expecting this much mobility with him, right? He can move his arm as well as his forearm and it came off. He can move his wrist, as you can see. He can move his leg and his foot, waist as well, his waist turns, and his head. 
So overall, a very flexible figure. I'm, I'm curious if the other ones have this much flexibility because I was not expecting this much. Of course, that comes with a cost. As you can see, the arms can detach uh, very easily, but I'm guessing that's probably meant to be because I know one of the main selling points about these figures is that you can mix and match them. So here's the mic stand. As you can see, the mic goes right here and it is separate. So you can detach it if you want and just put it in his hand or you can pop it in and have it on the stand. There you go. A little Glamrock Freddy there with his microphone. Look at that, he's holding his microphone. I can't really get it in the way that he holds it in the, um, in the teaser, but I'm sure if I keep fiddling, fiddling with it, I can. The paint is shockingly accurate, I will say. We all know- God, why am I shaking so much? We all know that this is Funtime Freddy's head, um, and I will point out the reused models when, when we get to them. So yeah, this is Funtime Freddy's head, but the paint is shockingly good. And again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, they use some sort of spray-on glossy um, stuff, I don't know what it's called, um, to give him more of a glossy and shiny look, which I actually do kind of like. So yeah, this is Glamrock Freddy. Again, honestly, a very good character. I know I know a lot of people were mad at, the, at Funko for using reused models, but honestly, the figures in real life, when you hold them, look so much better than the pictures. So now we're gonna move on to Montgomery the Gator. So this is Montgomery the Gator. Uh, he has the same mobility as Freddy, he can move all his limbs and stuff, his waist, his head. He's got a nice tail on the back, again, he's got his, his mohawk, his red mohawk going on. His glasses, for some reason, aren't painted. And I watched a few other videos on the action figures, and it doesn't look like any of them have painted glasses either, so I don't know why Funko didn't bother to paint them. Even on the back of the boxes, it's not painted, but we all know that they are orange, yellowish, so I have no clue what's going on there. Um, but again, like this figure, he looks so much better in real life than he does in the pictures. His guitar here is also very nice, it's got a tiger stripe going on, that's so cool. Here you go, look at him! I, I didn't really put his guitar in, right? But his guitar is there. Again, the paint is very accurate. Besides the glasses, of course, but I already pointed those out. It's a very accurate figure. I also don't know if it's just Montgomery. Maybe we'll find out later on when we open the rest. Um, but this guy is extremely sticky. Not extremely greasy, but as I was pulling him out of the box, I could tell that my fingers were getting a bit greasy, slippery, whatever. I think it's because of the spray-on glossy paint that they used, but overall, again, very nice figure. Glamrock Chica is up next. And this is Glamrock Chica. Again, as you can see, this is a reused model of Chica's head, but like comparing them together, <laughs> I can't really do this because I can't really see, comparing them with the picture and the actual figure, the figure looks so much better than the picture. So if you're contemplating whether or not you should get these figures because the pictures, have a look at this, right? You can tell it's the Wii U's model, but for some reason, it just looks so much better than the picture. So at first, I thought that this this pink smudge up near her uh, her right eyelid was a paint mistake, but looking at the official, you know, artwork for Glamrock Chica, that's supposed to be there. So again, I thought that was a paint mistake, but that is supposed to be there. As you can see, all of the same mobility as Glamrock Freddy and Montgomery. The bow. And the hair is very nice, I like that, I love all the detail on the face, again, with the- with all the, uh, with all the face paint on there. That's honestly one of my favorite things about these new characters, is the face paint. Glamrock Chica also comes with her guitar, as you can see, it is highly detailed, I freaking love this, sorry I'm shaking so much. If you can't tell, I'm not the best with posing action figures. <laughs> I got a, I got the guitar in her hand though, so that's always a plus. Yeah, this one is honestly a really, really good one. One final look at Glamrock Chica, and now we are going to move on to Roxanne the Wolf. Oh my god, yeah, this one, this one highly smells of that polish, the, the spray-on polish. I don't know what it is with these figures. I don't know if this is new, if Funko has always been doing this, but it's like, I opened up the box and I just got a huge whiff of the polish. And this is the Roxanne action figure. As you can see, she's very, very shiny. Again, that polish that, that I was talking about, it does this figure wonders, oh my god. So again, this is a reused model, this head right here, this is Mangle's head that for some reason they just slapped it on Roxanne, even though Roxanne is a wolf and not a fox. I mean, to be fair, you can tell that it is supposed to be Roxanne, but for Freddy and Chica, the molds work. 
But with this one, I don't know, man. The head just does not suit Roxanne at all. In my personal opinion, again, you can tell it's supposed to be Roxanne, but for some reason it just, it doesn't work as well as the other two. So Roxanne has the same mobility as all of the other figures so far. She's a little bit limited with her head, but that is just because of her mane, her hair. It's her hair, she, she doesn't have a mane. Yeah, uh, she's a little bit limited with her hair because it hits the back of her back. Her tail is also very nice. I don't think I really talked about it um, with Montgomery here, but he also has a tail that looks really nice as well. Um, Montgomery's tail especially helps him with standing up. There goes his guitar, just fell out of his hand. Roxanne's doesn't because it doesn't actually reach down to the ground. But overall, I don't have that many complaints with this figure. Again, besides the head, um, I also think she's missing a ear piercing on this ear as well. Um, besides that though, this figure's great. This is her guitar, piano, instrument thingy that I forget the name of. Uh, this one is also very accurate. As you can see, the keys are highly detailed. You can't actually see it, it's aiming down. There you go. Uh oh. Yeah, not the best with posing figures, but this was Roxanne the Wolf. So now we're gonna move on to the final character, and that is of course Fanny. Ooh, the knife is actually taped on too. You can't really see it. The tape is actually taped on so it doesn't fall out. Nice. Yeah, so the knife is nothing too special. It is literally just a knife, but uh, yeah, it is a knife. I can confirm it's a knife. This is the Vanny action figure. As you can see, she kind of packing though. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, uh, I have the Vanny teaser pulled up right now and looking at it, it is, it's pretty accurate. It is missing a few things, mainly the whisker, um, and it looks like the eyebrows as well. The ears are a little bit too small, but overall, again, it's a very accurate figure. It has all the stitching in all the right places, and then of course when you add the knife that doesn't really want to stay in Vanny's hand, it seems like, um, she just becomes even more like Vanny. Oh, I got it. I got it, boys, look. Look, I got it. Nice. Yeah, overall, a very... And there it goes, just like that. Overall, a very nice figure. All of these have been really good so far. I say so far, that is all the figures. Again, there's no build a figure for some reason. I don't know why. They could have done Glitch Trap. That would have been amazing. Or, better yet, they could have had Fanny as the build a figure, and then they could have had um, Security Girl as one of just another figure, right? So instead of having Vanny as just a normal figure, have Security Girl and then have Vanny as the build a figure, they could have done that. Really? Because they do have, like, they could have just used this mold, got rid of the U's. Like, that probably would have been about the same, you know, mold as what Security Girl would have been. Of course, they would have needed to add, like, hair and a hat. They could have had, like, a little tiny flashlight for her as well. I think that would have been nice. I don't know why they skipped over Security Girl, because that literally is the main protagonist in the game. But again, overall, all of these figures have been shockingly really, really good. I know we were crapping on Funko because they leaked the designs and oh, the figures look terrible on the images, but in real life, physically holding them, they don't look as bad as they do on the images. Of course, they do still have the reused uh, molds for some of the heads, but honestly guys, cutting corners is just good business. That's what tutorial unit says in FNAF 6, so you can't blame Funko for, uh, for doing it, they're just looking after after what tutorial unit says, but again, overall, these figures are surprisingly, shockingly, very accurate, and very good. I don't know where I'm going to display them. I feel like the shelf is a bit too cramped. I might put them over there with my TV, or I can put them on this little table that I have. I don't know, but I will post a picture on my Twitter and Instagram after this video. So thank you all so much for watching. If you want to buy these figures, they are linked down below. Also keep an eye out because later this month I will be unboxing the Security Breach poster by Trends as well as the Mystery Minis. So if you don't want to miss that, I think you know what to do. Slam that subscribe button and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.